Cecil the lion was a subject of research and became popular through videos showing him walking leisurely in the wild. The possibility that he was lured out of a protected national park to be killed as a trophy has enraged many Americans. In fact, we've done a poll and 70% of Americans would pay to see lions in the wild and only about 6% would actually pay to hunt lions in the wild. And most Americans are really opposed to trophy hunting. About 75% strongly oppose lion trophy hunting. But many are not aware that Americans are overwhelmingly those who travel far and wide to hunt for rare animal trophies. With lion hunting in particular, Americans are over 50% of the trophy hunting in Africa is done by Americans. But most people don't go over just to hunt. They go because they want to bring the trophies back and display them. Permits for big game hunting are very expensive. Palmer reportedly paid more than $50,000 to shoot a lion in Zimbabwe. But conservationists point out that more revenue can be made by keeping rare animals alive and showing them to tourists. Animal advocates in the United States say a ban on importing trophies would help curtail lion hunting and rare animal poaching. The White House is expected to respond to the petitions it has received demanding Palmer's extradition to Zimbabwe, but any decision on extradition is made by the State Department after judicial authorities examine the case. And obviously uh, humanitarian concerns and the ability of an individual to receive a fair trial uh, may be considered at this stage of the pro process. Palmer has admitted killing the 13-year-old lion, but told the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service that he had hired professional guides and was unaware that Cecil was protected. The agency has launched an investigation into the killing of the lion. Slaritza Hoke, VOA News, Washington.